Hi everyone, welcome back to another Marion Star Live. I'm Rachel Stroud. Behind me is the former Illinois Star Center Mall, but it's not gonna look like this for much longer. We'll have more coming up in just a little bit, but first I wanna tell you about other things that you'll see in this edition. We're going to go downtown, head back east, down Route 13. We're going to meet some very special canines who are serving the community right here in Southern Illinois and meet some local business owners who are changing the landscape of where they're at. All of this and so much more on this edition of the Marion Star Live. Now live from Swinford Media Group. The Marion Star, where Marion is the star. Not that many months ago, this place was filled with shoppers for Johnny Logan's annual Fall Art Festival. But now, as you can see behind me, walls are coming down and changes are being made here at the Oasis. We got to take a little tour, go behind the scenes and check it out. Let's go take a look. The once colorful and bright Illinois Star Center Mall interior has become a dusty gray as demolition is nearly complete on the property now known as the Oasis. The future is certainly bright, however, and the bones of the 800,000 square foot building are strong. In August of 2020, the owners of Black Diamond Harley-Davidson announced they had formed a new corporation, Marion Center Project LLC, and purchased the stagnant mall, crippled by bankruptcy and closed since 2018, and its parking lot. Last year, architectural renderings of a future outdoor sports outlet and entertainment complex inside the former mall were released, but rushing toward the future hasn't been the first priority for the new owners. Owners say their first objective was to support all property business partners, all anchor stores which had survived bankruptcy conditions, Dillard's, Target, and Pirate Pete's. In addition, Anderson's Warehouse Furniture and Planet Fitness had moved into the mall's former West Wing. Anderson soon announced an expansion eastward from its already large showroom to the corridor that leads to Target. Work on that expansion continues. Dillard's occupies 100,000 square feet and, according to reports, is thriving and planning to remain a part of the Oasis development. Shortly after announcing the purchase of the mall property, a state-of-the-art screen was installed outside the main entrance of the Oasis. Since then, the large screen has been used for drive-in movies, concerts, and for broadcasting sporting events, among them the Marion Wildcat Game Day football live streams produced by the Marion Star. Last year, the eastern wing of the building, closest to Dillard's, was open to the public for eight events, the final one being the John A. Logan College Autumn Fest in October. However, this year, there are no plans to host any public events as demolition has progressed throughout the entire building, converting the former inside store layout to a more open, easy-flowing, and spacious environment that will lend itself to the planned development. Management says the skylights and distinctive ceiling of the mall will remain as a throwback to the former mall. Other mall furniture and features have been sold in a liquidation sale or are being repurposed into other buildings owned by the developers. The developers say there is no set timeline on any of the development and the design stage continues, but progress remains steady. Wow, so many things are happening right here in our back door. Be sure you keep an eye on our Facebook page because we'll update you as more changes are made. Now this ownership group isn't only making strides here at the former Illinois Star Center Mall turned the Oasis property, but they've also done some great things out at Coco Pelli Golf Course and the turn. If you haven't been out there to eat or check out the facilities, highly suggest it. 10 out of 10 would recommend especially the cheese pizza. Now stay with us because when we come back from this quick commercial break, we'll be downtown checking out the new things that are happening on the east side of town. 15 years ago, the doors to Melissa's opened. At that time, our goal was to provide formal wear at a reasonable price with exceptional customer service. Today, that's still our goal. We are the area's only provider of Milroy's Tuxedo Rental. We also do direct printing, embroidery, spray tanning, wedding, prom, and homecoming wear, as well as provide a selection of trendy printed and patterned socks. Visit us downtown in Marion at 110 East Main Street next to the Southern Illinois Mercantile, or call us at 618-993-1800. 
Swinford Media and the Marion Star are proud to have the Watermark Auto Group as a sponsor of all our digital programming. Illinois Republican House leadership held a roundtable on Saturday with local law enforcement in Marion to discuss recent Democratic police bills, challenges to law enforcement, the Republicans reimagine Illinois public safety proposals, and rising crime. House Republican leader Jim Durkin was joined by local representatives Paul Jacobs, Patrick Windhorst, and Dave Severin at the event. Jacobs says it is important to build healthy relationships with law enforcement during these tough times for the industry. I, I look back at the greatest responsibility of members of state government and the legislature. Our greatest responsibility is to protect our people. And you have to work and you have to develop relationships with our county sheriff, our police chiefs, our rank and file law enforcement officers, and also our prosecutors to make sure that our criminal justice system is doing the right thing. And what happened last year when the Democrats passed this police reform bill is had a, it's going to have, it already has had made a dramatic effect upon crime in Chicago and the suburbs, but Southern Illinois is not exempt and things are just going to get worse. But my purpose today is to have an open and frank conversation with prosecutors and also county sheriffs of what I interpret is in this bill and things that they must be able to think about and how they are going to manage certain aspects of this bill, short term and also long term. Durkin has held similar roundtables with law enforcement across the state. He says their ultimate goal is to find a way to make the bill, which ends cash bail in the state and places many new restrictions on officers, have less impact on the law enforcement community. I'm Bill Swinford. The Swinford Media Group would like to express its condolences to the family of a local sheriff's deputy killed in an off-duty crash last weekend. John David Utley, age 26 and originally from Johnson City and the West Frankfurt area, died after an off-duty crash in Pulaski County. Corporal Utley had previously served several local agencies in Williamson and Franklin counties. A police escort of his body to Pyle Funeral Home in Johnson City preceded services this weekend. Among his survivors are his son, Jace Utley of Marion, two sisters, and his parents, LaShonda Utley and David Utley. Other law enforcement participated in the escort and in services in both Villa Ridge and Johnson City. Now, back to Rachel. Welcome back. Marion has a new officer on duty. K-9 Gary is here to help in all sorts of situations that you might not expect. Gary is an emotional support K-9, and I got to sit down with him and his human officer, Jason, to find out more about Gary's job and how he can serve you. So Gary is part of the Canine Cares Therapy Dog program here. Um, so inevitably what he'll be doing is, you know, consoling victims and witnesses of violent crimes, um, anything that's traumatic to a specific person. Uh, we'll be going to schools, kind of, you know, trying to get kids acclimated with the police department and, you know, understand, hey, we're not the bad people, we're here to help however we can and kind of start bridging the gap at the young age. So as they start getting older, they start to realize, hey, the police, you know, we're not bad people, we're here to help. Um, you know, we'll be going out to the hospitals, to the VA, uh, nursing homes, the other first responders, the fire department, air evac, um, basic kind of helping first responders that might be going through traumatic incidences of their own from the stuff we see every day to what they might be going through in their own personal life outside of work. You know, a lot of times people don't want to share or get involved because of the stigma that's behind mental health. Um, and so, you know, having Gary there kind of helps people come out of that shell just a little bit more. You know, to whether or not they don't want to address me is fine, but, you know, people love talking to Gary. So Gary is a Llewellyn setter and a great Pyrenees mix. He got brought in, he was an owner surrender down to Brevard County Sheriff's Office um, in August of this year. So he went through about four months of training before I got down there. Um, a lot of his stuff was basic obedience. They used the inmates down at the prison down there. So the inmates actually go and train Gary and all the other dogs that went out to police departments. Um, so it trains them and, you know, again, just basic obedience so I can work with him on the road. Um, but then it also gives the inmates basically you know, a sense of understanding on how to do something so when they get out of jail they can hopefully stay on the right path. Um, so then I went down there for a week. We basically just worked on a lot of things for us was basic obedience and getting out to the public. I see a lot of opportunities for Gary to really flourish and do what we expect of him. Um, one would be to help any victim of any kind of a traumatic situation. Uh, that's kind of the goal for him. Uh, secondly would be our school children. Uh, he's already been and helped a child at one of our schools already, which really tickled me to death. And 
for me, and this is personal reasons, but for me, I would love to see him get involved with our veterans in the area, that especially ones that are having some kind of PTSD issues. His main job, yes, is just to be petted and loved on and, you know, just have someone walk up, pet him, and just make them feel better. You know, that, and that's essentially what it is. It's, you know, you could be having a bad day and just pet Gary for a couple seconds, it makes your day better. You know, it might not get rid of everything you're going through, but at least for those few seconds, your mind's off of everything and you're just, it's you and Gary. Um, you know, we visit the VA, um, we've gone to the fire department already, we've gone, like I said, to air evac, just visiting a lot of places. Um, in between there, you know, we're helping assist you know, on the road, whether it's traffic accidents, traffic enforcement, um, just kind of basically still getting out into the community, doing the work of a police officer while also trying to balance it with the job of a therapy canine. What I've told the schools, you know, the, the ones I visited is that, you know, if there's ever issues with kids or anything like that where, you know, they think Gary could benefit a child, you know, going back to class or there's kids getting bullied in the school, you know, have Gary come in and just kind of either sit with the kid or, you know, we'll go, go with the kid to class um, just to kind of make that kid realize, you know, there are people behind you and like just because you're getting bullied doesn't mean you're by yourself, you're, you're not alone, you know, to kind of give him that or her that support to get through the day. Um, you know, anybody that goes through a traumatic incident, again, everybody's tr trauma is, you know, specific to them. You know, I can't say this, this, or this falls under a specific trauma. So if someone, you know, is going through that incident at home, their personal experience, they think just a little pick me up with Gary would work, feel free to contact us. I mean, we're, we're here to help however we can. You know, Gary's, Gary's job is just to help people feel better at the end of the day. Like that, that's what he's here for. So. so this program is not funded through taxes. It's not funded by the police department. It's not funded through the city at all. Everything we're doing with this program um, is all basically donations and fundraisers. So we had a photo shoot we did. Um, we've sold t-shirts and hoodies, um, just straight donations from individuals and companies. I mean, the, the amount of support that we've gotten is literally out of this world. I mean, I never could have imagined that we'd be able to raise as much as we have in just such a short period of time by people. You know, it's not just the Marion community, it's people outside of here, outside of the state of Illinois. We will take any kind of donation to help pay for this because our goal is to not cost the taxpayers, the city, or the police department any money. And so far we've been able to do that. Uh, all you have to do is you can come in person or you can send a check to us here at the police department and you make it out to MPD Canine Cares and then we get the money to the treasurer's office. The treasurer will donate, uh, deposit it into our account and then whenever we have to purchase something for this program, we can pull from that fund. Stay with us because by the end of this broadcast, we will honor the accomplishments of both the Marion Junior High and Marion High School boys basketball teams. And we'll introduce you to a Marion woman who's having a viral TikTok moment after appearing on The Price is Right and how she's using it to help Marion's Girl Scouts. Don't go anywhere. I'm happy to be back in private practice. I'm, I'm thrilled about it. I know there was a letter sent out that made it seem like I was leaving Southern Illinois Urology, but I'm not leaving the area. I'm just changing my name, Urology Institute. You can see that he has compassion with your case. He, he knows where you're coming from. He don't look at you like just, okay, you are just a number. He's not talking to you and looking at the computer. He's not talking to you and, you know, making notes. He's talking directly to you. He's very personal. He's an excellent doctor. I love all the patients I've been taking care of for all these years, and I hope they stay with me from, for the rest of my career. My new phone number to reach us is going to be 618-998-8500. I use that cliche sometime, and I really mean it. It's an honor to be a doctor. Now, a new business incubator opened up here in Marion on the square. It opened up in the Citadel building behind me, and I got to sit down with Russ Williams. He is spearheading the whole project to find out more about what Ethos is and how you can be a part of it. Ethos is a brand new small business incubator and co-working, co-sharing offices here in downtown Marion, Illinois. We're on Tower Square Plaza. We're in the very historic Citadel building. Um, it's built in 1914 and really hasn't had a lot of life to it since 1970. Um, the Vault Restaurant has been on the first floor for the past eight years and the second floor was also uh, renovated but never used and so the second floor is where we're starting with the co-working 
uh, spaces and we've had quite a few people uh, join our membership to take advantage of those co-working spaces and we're hoping next year we'll get into the small business incubation which is growing new businesses here in Marion, Illinois and attracting businesses to, to Marion, Illinois. So the most exciting part of the Ethos project is that it's a small business incubator, which means that we're gonna be a place where people can receive business services to grow a, a brand new business. And so what that means is inviting the community to come together and create an ecosystem to support small businesses. And so those that might be interested, they have an idea, they have a dream, but they don't know how to get started, can receive some coaching, some training, uh, seminars in order to build a business. And so we would partner with CPAs and attorneys and marketing folks, people that a small business owner would need in order to scale their business. Um, and we would provide those services here, whether it's right in this building or we offer it remotely. So as I said, we're in the Citadel building right here on Tower Square Plaza, and there is a revitalization uh, process that's happening here on the square to bring businesses back to our downtown. And so we're surrounded by buildings that are almost 100 or more than 100 years old that are being adopted really by private investors and they're being remodeled and renovated in order to offer new business space. So we're very excited about having the restaurants and the cafes and other businesses that are coming to downtown. It's a perfect place to have, for, to have a small business incubator because people are being attracted to uh, starting a business downtown and we can help them do that. So we have a membership program and if folks will go to members.ethosmarion.org, they can see all of our spaces uh, in order to use for co-working and so the membership works as a day pass, a monthly pass, or an annual pass, a very affordable cost, but you get more than just space. So you get a community. And to create that ethos community, we're providing you uh, with networking with other uh, businesses that are developing here at ethos. And you get all the coffee you can drink, all the water that you can stand, and some snacks and treats, uh, high-speed uh, internet and Wi-Fi. Uh, just really anything that you might need in order to start a new business or again if you're a freelancer or a remote worker just to provide you with the perfect community to work in. So here at Ethos at the Citadel we have nine private office spaces. Each one has a theme. We have the Saluki room and the Wildcat room, an airplane hangar and a bike shop and, and more. Um, and then we also have a conference room that is available for meetings. Um, and then some other meeting spaces too. If you have smaller than 10 or 12, we have some uh, combination uh, business and, and meeting places where you can meet your clients or your team can come in and work together. Uh, we have a small kitchenette and we have a hallway space that has a high speed Wi-Fi. And so even for college students that might be home for break and they need a place to study or a place to work, this is ideal to have uh, all the things that they might need uh, in a community here at Ethos. The dual credit and dual enrollment program is for high school students that are interested in earning Johnny Logan credit. And for dual credit, oftentimes students can get high school and college credit at the same time by taking one class. And with dual enrollment, it's most often just for Johnny Logan credit, um, but either way, they're earning early college credit. The dual credit program is here to help students navigate through all of their opportunities. Major support for this and other Swinford Media Productions is provided by the owners of Black Diamond Harley-Davidson and their family of businesses. We hope you're enjoying the latest edition of the Marion Star Live presented by the Swinford Media Group. Stay with us at the end of this broadcast to learn about our company and how to enjoy all the benefits of our services. One of those services is our Wildcat Game Day live streams of Marion High School Sports, and we were glad to bring you so many games this year with the help of our many sponsors. It was also good to have a full Wilson gym again after the lifting of pandemic restrictions. We were there when some of the Wildcat seniors were honored at the final boys' home basketball game on February 16th. Marion High School Band and Marion Maniacs, along with the cheerleaders and the award-winning dance team and Winter Guard Flag Corps, were all on hand for a special night. The 
Wildcats aren't done yet, though. After winning the Olney Regional last night by beating previously undefeated Olney Richland County. We were also there to stream the Marion Junior High boys and their run to the state title game at Renley College. They faced another undefeated Olney team with enormous talent, and I do mean enormous, with players standing 6'8 and 6'6. In that game, the Tigers got the best of our cats, but our team also has special talent and promises continued success at the high school level. Congratulations to coaches Jason Varner and Timmy Meldacious and their team on a terrific season, capped by a second place finish. And now, as promised earlier, let's meet Carrie Kinder, a Marion Girl Scouts volunteer who's having a viral moment on TikTok after appearing on The Price is Right. Well, we are Troop 8077. We are a multi-level troop from daisies, that's kindergarten, all the way through cadets and seniors. And we also have an ambassador. So we have over 20 girls. We have about 30 girls in our troop and our troop is growing. We are in the process of fundraising for our trip to Savannah, Georgia, the birthplace of Juliet Lowe. She's the one who started Girl Scouts and the girls are going to see her birthplace. We're going in June and it takes quite a bit to get to Georgia. And right now we're selling Girl Scout cookies. It is Girl Scout cookie season and we've been fundraising all year long to be able to take the girls um, on this wonderful trip. And as a matter of fact, what we really are in need of is transportation. So right now we're trying to work out how we're going to fund transporting more than 20 girls down to Savannah, Georgia. We are selling cookies all the way through April. We have three locations right now. You can buy cookies at Sam's Club, in front of the Mercantile by the Square in Marion, and also at Kroger in Marion. We have three locations, three cookie booths. It's $5. We also are having a fundraiser for Teacher Appreciation Day, so you can actually give a donation to treat Teacher Appreciation to buy a box of cookies for your favorite teacher in Marion, Illinois. So it's a great cause, and we would love to honor our educators here in Williamson County. Yes, I was on The Price is Right on Wednesday. It aired on Wednesday. I went to a recording in January. So my journey to The Price is Right began with a casting director. Nowadays, there's so few people in um, the audience because of COVID that to get a, become a, a contestant on The Price is Right, they are using a casting process. So I had to do a Zoom interview which then was forwarded on to the producers of CVS, and I was selected to be in the studio audience. But when I heard Carrie Kinder come on down, I was so excited. Unbeknownst to me, my stepson called. He was really afraid to tell me that I was a TikTok sensation. My blooper, which appeared on Wednesday, was when I was frantically trying to get off the stage of Price is Right. And I was getting lost on stage. I can't describe it except that I didn't want to interrupt the other contestant who was spinning the wheel. And I knew I had already gone the wrong way. And all I could hear from backstage is a man saying, go this way, no, go that way. And I couldn't see anything, it was pitch black. So that's why I looked so confused. Oh, I just think it's great fun, actually. Who could think that someone from Marion, Illinois, who went to California on The Price is Right, would become famous, my 15 minutes of fame, that that would actually happen. And when the phone rang and it was Inside Edition, I about hit the floor. I, my jaw hit the floor. I said, who is this? So the funny thing and the ironic thing about it all is the prize that I won to even get on stage was a navigation system. So you know, maybe that'll help keep me on my way and not get lost again. Just support your local Girl Scouts um, and they really need your support. Thanks to Aaron Price for his reporting in this edition of the Marion Star Live. Now, back to Rachel. Now, if you saw anything on tonight's show that you liked, be sure you drop us a comment below and let us know what it was. Share this broadcast with a friend if you think we talked about something that they might be interested in. And of course, hit the like button and show us some love. We love hearing from you and knowing that you're watching. That'll about do it for this edition of the Marion Star Live. I'm Rachel Stroud, and for everyone else behind the camera, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Swinford Media Group. 
Don't miss our weekly newscast, The Marion Star Live. Along with our other popular digital segments like Turning Back Time on our social media channels. And if you act now, you will receive 13 months of our weekly print publications. The Marion Star, The Heron Independent, and The Carterville Courier for just $45. Print subscribers can also receive our daily email updates packed with the latest news, sports, obituaries, and inside information from the Swinford Media Group at no extra cost. Subscribe online at swinfordpublications.com.